Hello there, this is DBT and this Art of Runes. And alright, let's continue playing some more Asphaltate and today... Oh boy, I'm gonna put myself through the ringer by driving this car that you see on the screen right now. If you don't know what this is, this is the Audi R8 e-tron. Not the special edition, no, 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 the base version, which makes it one of the worst cars in the game. But yeah, I'm gonna be playing with this car in multiplayer and see what it can do because, man, it's been seriously a long, long, long time since I've driven it, so let's give it a shot. But if you like my content, you know what to do. Hit the like button on this video because it helps with the discoverability of the channel and all of that, so go ahead, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel because why not? But alright, so I'm gonna be playing in Classic Season and that is because it just literally began. So I haven't done a single race with any car, so let me select it, activate some boosters, and then we can talk about it. And here it is, Audi R8 e-tron. Like I said, this is the second worst car, the worst one, it's the starter car, which is of course the Dodge Dart at a rank of 992, but this is 993, so it should be a tiny little bit better. Um, you can see right here the stats of the car in general. Trust me, this acceleration is not true in any way, shape or form, but alright, let's, let's get some races. Now, this car was the starter's de facto ad car. While the Lamborghini Asterion used to be the car that you would get through watching ads randomly and whatnot, before you got to that roulette where the Asterion was, there was another smaller milestone type of ad situation. Oh boy, I'm going to triple tap at the start for the acceleration, but oh boy. Um, and by watching a few ads, you were able to unlock this car just like that watching a couple of ads and the car was oh are you seriously wow people really have no chill in the lower brackets huh um yeah so you were able to get this car really 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 easily and nowadays i think this is a car that you can get by purchasing with credits it's one of the few cars that you can buy with credits and yeah kind of shows because this is really 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 one of the starter cars you can see that this nitro is nothing good at all so there is that but yeah so uh, when was it it was a couple of weeks ago precisely when the multiplayer series began i did a video precisely testing the volkswagen beetle turbo and that, that was just out of what would you call it uh nostalgia basically because you know i had a beetle not not that model i had the old old beetle but yeah, I was like, oh man, let me drive the Beetle in this game. And that's why I decided to, to drive a slow car. But then I have gotten some requests to drive this car. I don't understand why, but here we are. Driving this car and just seeing how good or bad it is. Somehow, despite the knockdown, I am in second place. Now, worth mentioning that I'm racing against a bunch of EQS. And the thing about cars, whether they're at pro or at stock, the nitro duration doesn't change. So that means that the nitro of those EQS is definitely much better than that of this car so yeah there's, there's that to consider um all right so there we go defeated by one eqs but i did beat two more eqs three eqs's tune for this bracket which is a very very weird bracket but all right let's get to another race oh that's right i just technically ranked in not ranked up ranked I, I don't know Oh, there's that bug again. You know, this thing where you just got into the amateur league. So yeah, let's continue driving this thing. But how about we change the color of the car? Because man, it does have some colors. The default is this green, but we also have it in fancy dual color green, green and blue, orange, another tone of green, red, blue, yellow, and in black. Let's drop it in this fancy dual color because I think it looks pretty dope. And of course, the game was like, oh, driving a very, very slow car? How about one of the longest tracks in the entire game? All right, here's my prediction. And I want you to give me a prediction how long this race is going to be. Not cheating, I'll know if you cheated. Right now in the comments, leave me. DBT, your race in Monaco is going to be and give me whatever time, guess of time that this is gonna be. I'm guessing about two minutes and a half. Maybe? <laughs> Might be even longer than that, but honestly, I don't know. Yes, we're gonna do the whole thing because that's how we roll around here. But yeah, so I was saying that the Nitro on this thing is not great and in this track it definitely... I'm gonna slow down a little bit. There we go, hoping that those things had enough time. I'm not gonna catch up to that first place. So I'm building a, or leaving a little bit of a space so that whatever Nitro bottles that he picks up, if they have enough time to respond so that, so that I can pick it up just like that. And even then you can see that I'm still suffering for Nitro, so yay! 
Now, one thing that I do want to mention about this car that I always thought was really cool is this quote-unquote engine sound. It's not an engine sound, I guess the term should be a motor sound, but because it's an electric car, you know, it doesn't vroom, it is. But the ease that this thing uses, it's very unique. Now, there's already a couple of cars that also use this engine sound. I'm just going to refer to it as engine sound. That use the same engine sound nowadays. But in general, it's one that you won't hear very, very often. Uh, I think, what, like four, maybe five cars in total have this sound? I don't know, but listen to this. Wow, it's scat. Jesus Christ. I didn't know a car this low could skid. So yeah, the engine sound, it's very peculiar. It's its that auditive trick that it seems like the pitch is ever uh, increasing, you know, going higher and higher and higher and higher. It's a cool one. And it's, again, it's cool because of it and because of how rare the sound is, but it actually is kind of annoying that at no point does it actually, you know, go into a lower pitch because you're slowing down or anything. It just keeps on going and going and going and going and going. It's kind of weird, but hey, it's quirky, it's from the olden times of this game, so yeah, that's that's fine. And like I said, there's a couple of cards that use it nowadays. I believe that the Zeus Sigma, whatever it's called, the, the weird pancake in Class B, um, that one uses it, and an electric not too long ago was was that was added um, also uses this one, but I can't remember. Was it the Ford Mustang Mach-E thingy? Or was it another one? I really don't know. But there we go. Second place. How long was the race? Was I right? Was I wrong? Um, two minutes, 20. I was pretty close. Pretty damn close. And okay, we were the only one boosted. So, all right. That that, that explains a little bit. Now, I'm going to give a negative shout out. I'm not going to name names. Mostly because I don't remember names. But I'm going to give a negative shout out to someone that in the video precisely that I made on the Volkswagen Beetle. Um, was saying some stuff that I'm like, oh boy, this is the type of players who make this game so annoying at times. Because in the video video, I was talking about how there's a bunch of people, seemingly a bunch of people in the EQS, that are just super aggressive against all the players. You kind of saw it in this video as well, in the very first race. And this individual in the comments said, ooh, RIP buddy, uh, said like, yeah, I'm that type of player who, even if I'm in whatever league, I go back and play with the super slow cars and knock down all the players. And I'm like, wow, and you, you are okay, but just admitting to that? Jesus Christ. I mean, listen, everybody's free to play however you, however you want. But it just seems like a special type of low to go after the people who have bad cars. Now, granted, obviously, in my case, I'm playing like this by choice. But there's gonna be a lot of people who are just playing with whatever ugly bad car, not, not an EQS, whatever they have that is in that bracket, in the super beginner bracket, and then those players struggling to get any results at all, to be encountering the type of players who are just, oh, I'm gonna knock down people for the fun of it, and because, ha ha ha, I know how to do it. It's like stomping on Nubis. Is that really a thing to, be, to feel good about? I don't know. I, I already complained before about how uh, the bracket of 1590 used to be a bit of a situation like that, where people with a proed out car in that bracket could beat on the stumpies, <laughs> beat on the stumpies, a stomp on the newbies, uh, precisely because a lot of people would get a very bad car that at stock landed on that same same uh, bracket, and yeah, they, you would just destroy them with whatever you were driving. And look, I understand that things like that do happen, but going out of your way specifically to do it, I don't know. I think that's just a a very low, low, low. Um, what would I call it? Low thing to do. Yeah. I don't know. I, I, I just I just feel like, okay, you want to be aggressive? Be aggressive against the normal players. Be aggressive in class B, class A, class S, whatever. But really against the super newbies that barely can participate. Because let's remember that these brackets are the brackets for the people who don't have good cars. You know, they're really starting on the game. They probably are going on boosted because they don't know what they're doing. And then they just get completely destroyed by super aggressive players who are just having quote-unquote fun by doing that and ruining other people's days. Jesus Christ. Anyway, first place, baby. And all right, Jesus, in three races, we already have nine minutes here. All right, let's do some testing with this thing, because oh boy. And of course, it's Spiral Drift Test. Now, I don't know that we're going to learn a lot from the drift of this car over here, simply because at this bit, I don't know that the drift is all that important. I don't know. Again, I don't really play in these brackets anymore. Uh, in fact, I don't think I've ever played with this car after the rebalance. But okay, here we go. Damn, that took long to just get here. All right, here we go. All right, 
that's pretty alright. I actually, well, I ended up messing a little bit the drift over there, but I did have to release the the uh, steering quite a bit in order to try to avoid hitting the inside. Man, it takes so long to get back up here. But anyway, second attempt. I did the same thing. All right, so the drift is not fantastic, but it's definitely very, very usable. So in spite of me messing that up, that's very serviceable drift, I'll say. Again, when you're going at this speed, uh, the drift doesn't need to be the sharpest thing ever for it to be okay, at least. Now, I could be wrong, though. I, I don't know too, and I don't know enough about this level of cars. All right, there's the drift. Yeah, look at that. It's sir, I did the same thing. You see, I ended up hitting the inside because it kind of works. Feels a little bit wide at first, but it's still usable. I think I don't I don't believe that you're gonna be needing the sharpest drift ever when you're driving at this speed. Man, even the the computer has issues matching me against an AI that goes as low as the rank of my car. So I already tried this, and the the opposite the enemy car doesn't get too much in the way. But here's another problem that I just discovered when doing this. Um, you almost don't have enough nitro, so I need to pick that up in order to make sure that I have enough nitro to hit the wall. Because it's just so damn bad. Jesus. Okay, this time it's a bike, so let's see if that gets less in the way. I'm gonna go triple tap, not go for the nitro bottle. Just go in a straight forward. Naturally, I think I'm gonna pick it up. Oh, that's great, that's great. Because, yeah, otherwise, the nitro is not enough to get to, to the wall. So, alright, that's as clean as that gets, I think. Jesus Christ. Now, before I get back into the races and multiplayer, I want to show you something else regarding this car. It has a, it has a bunch of liveries like this type of cars do and whatnot. There's a cool livery over here that I purchased. No, I think I got it by doing the collection stuff back when that was a thing, whatever. But no, the one that I did spend tokens in getting was this thing. Oh, man. I may not like the car very much, it might be kind of useless, but this is a seriously cool livery. Yeah, it might be kind of black, but still, come on. Ooh, we got sector 8. Is this forward or reverse? It might be... it's forward. Is it? I, I don't... I'm not sure. Okay, let's see what we get. Um, that's forward. Well, at least we'll test the drift on... at the end of this track. But, yeah, so, I don't know. What can I tell you about this car that you don't already know? Like I said, I really hadn't driven this car in ages. But to be more specific, I, hadn't, I haven't driven it uh, since it got rebalanced. I mean, I hadn't driven it before. Before that, I hadn't driven it still for a long time. Then it got rebalanced, and I still didn't try it. So this is the first time, really, that I'm trying this car to see how it works, though. Did it actually get rebalanced now that I think about it? I mean, it's the 993 rank, and I think it has been the same rank forever, so I, I am starting to doubt that it ever got rebalanced. Uh, maybe it got retouched, you know, just in the sense of adjusting perhaps a little bit the, I don't know, nitro duration. It doesn't feel very adjusted, but hey, uh, why don't you let me know in the comments if you know if this car ever got a rebalance or not. But yeah, it has been many, many years. See, it can even do the, the, the barrel roll because of how slow this thing goes. Um, it had been many years since I played with this thing because I certainly played with it when my account was new and that was one of the few cards that I had but you know back back then it was really easy to get at least the starter cars I think still some of the starter cars are considerably easy to get but hey you know what I'm saying right uh, so still had been a tremendous amount of time I'm completely out of nitro that's not good a tremendous amount of time since I played with it so yeah, I'm doing a little bit of punchy rift over here. Seeing if I can overtake this guy. Come on. Come on, come on. Triple tap, triple tap. Last long enough, please. Let's go, baby. Did you see that? Overtake at snail space. Let's go. <laughs> oh, boy. This, these races are a bit of pain. That's all I can say. At least I did beat that quote-unquote MP2 Vision EQS. So that's something. Um, hey, hey uh, now that I think about it, I've been getting a decent amount of points. So... Yeah, is, is this a way to rank up by racing with really slow cars against super newbies? And we're back in Venice. This time is Venice reverse. All right, cool. Oh, I saw a bike over there. Yeah, look at this triple tap. In just three seconds, half of my regular nitro tank is spent. Oh, the dude touched me, all right? I, I, you saw I wasn't trying to knock him down or anything. He just went suddenly aggressive against me. Speaking of going aggressive, um, 
I kind of had an idea for a key phrase today related to Audis and the words that started with AU and whatnot because of Audi. But I decided to just forego it. Maybe we'll do that in another time that I do an Audi video. For now, the key phrase that we're going to do today, it's a message to this type of people who play like that. The key phrase for today is going to be, if you're the aggro type of player against newbies, you should be ashamed of yourself. First person to bot it gets a hard opinion on all of that. I'm sorry, but I, I do believe, listen, I understand wanting to play aggressive against other players in general because, hey, the game, <laughs> he crashed, I was about to crash too. Because the game, it's, it, at the end of the day, sort of a combat um, racing game. But really doing it against the newbies of newbies that barely have any cars and probably going on boosted and all of that, and you're having fun doing that, man, that's such a low thing. Go ahead and do it against people who are driving the same type of cars that you are. And like I said, higher ranked cars and all of that. Go play aggressive against the aggressive. Go play aggressive against, I don't know, whatever the, uh, you think is the most aggressive bracket. But yeah, playing like that over here, I just feel like... It's it's an amazing way to to make people dislike the game. Like, oh Jesus Christ, I can get a single result. I just I just got my fancy new Audi e-tron, and I managed to upgrade it by spending five thousand fusion coins in each one of the upgrades. I think that's the price or something like that. It took so long for me to do it. I'm gonna drive it in with a plane, and then you get knocked down when you didn't need to get knocked down. That is really not a good experience to have. And yeah, I mean, granted. People are, uh, need to get to learn to expect this type of things, but still, I, I don't think doing it on purpose like that, it's it's a good way to, to, to bring new players to the game. Because, hey, we need more players. And that is how DBT turned a quote-unquote review of this car into a public uh, service announcement of protect the newbies. <laughs> but, all right, well, what am I supposed to tell you about this car? It is... A beginner car, it is not very good. Nitro kind of sucks. Acceleration, I doubt, is any good. Uh, drifting is serviceable at best. And what else? Handling it. Usable? Again, I don't know. At this rank, I don't know what good handling it's supposed to be. I mean, I can imagine a car with high handling and all of that. Oh, I think he ran out of nitro because he went triple tap. And then I hit the wall, so that's not great, buddy. I don't want to knock you down, please. Don't touch me. Nice, nice. We're playing clean. Look at that. Look at that. A clean race. I appreciate you, Mr. NZS. No, excuse me. NZC. Yes. Uh, NCS is the music that we're listening to. <laughs> um, yeah, again, I don't know. Just a beginner car. I don't think that there's much that I can tell you about this car. If you're using this car, it's probably just because you don't have anything better to use at the moment. Don't worry, keep on grinding. Eventually you will get a better car. Remember to be playing Classic Series a bunch, um, daily specifically, so that you can get your tokens. And in getting tokens, you will be able to start purchasing better cars that are not all that expensive. And probably in a couple of days, three days of playing your six races um, here in Classic Series, that should be just about enough to get a, a different class D car and yeah start little by little getting into higher and higher brackets into i don't know faster gameplay which is obviously the faster the funner i guess i don't know i personally don't mind racing in slow cars not this slow though this is this is going a bit too far in driving them slow cars but still um yeah again you're using this as out of necessity or because you like torturing yourself in which case well uh, you know just don't don't abuse the the poor uh, newbies that don't know what they're doing just yet um but yeah if you like this video once again hit the like button and i do mean it i want you guys every single one of you to hit the like button simply because that helps a lot with the algorithm because youtube understands oh people actually like this video that's why they hit the like button so maybe i should show this video to more people so that they can enjoy it as well and that helps the channel continue growing so i need your help in that go ahead hit the like button but that's all for today thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye, -bye.